Hi everyone, this is Sujit and today we'll be taking a look at how to use Raspberry Pi as a dedicated audio player. The software that I'll be using is called Rune Audio and it's an exceptional piece of software. It's still in beta version but it's great. It's I just loved it when the first time I used it. The sound quality was um, brilliant. It was very easy to use. The UI was extremely good and uh, let's quickly take a look at the hardware that I have the main thing is the Raspberry Pi and uh, the main thing it has to be on a network either wired or wireless so as you can see I have connected a do Wi-Fi dongle so it's connected wirelessly and uh, that is the way it's going to interact with the UI the UI can be opened up in, a, in any browser and then we have a, a DAC DAC is an optional item we can use the audio out from the Raspberry Pi itself but if we want great sound quality a DAC is highly, highly recommended then we have a hard drive the source of all the songs it is connected to a USB hub now the reason I'm using a USB hub is because if we want to connect a device uh, external storage like a hard drive it cannot it uh, the Raspberry Pi can't power it directly so we have to use a hub and then finally the speakers we can use headphones earphones or any amplified speakers and the first time I used it the sound quality I just loved it that's why I thought of making a video and sharing this particular um, setup so let's take a look at the UI so once we have uh, Raspberry Pi on the network, we can directly access the Rune UI from any browser. So just click on the browser and type in the IP address or Rune Audio directly. I type in the IP address and it takes me to the Rune UI. And here it takes me to the playback section. As we can see here, there are three sections that is the library, playback and queue so in library i can see all the sources like the usb storage network devices spotify web radio these kind of options would be there in the library this is the source and uh, let's go into the usb storage here this is basically the browser it can it it's showing me all the files and folders present in the hard drive and uh, here I have a menu option where I can add these uh, this folder directly to the queue and if I click on add it will go and if I go to queue I can see the list of songs displayed in the queue and uh, from here I can play the songs I select any song and then if I click on if I click on that file it starts playing and you can track it in the playback section uh, here we can see a nice dial which shows the progress of the song so we, some information about the file and the best part is it can play multiple file types like FLAC, MP3 all these types of uh, file types are, are supported by Rune Audio and this particular file is a FLAC and uh, you can then let's uh, stop it as you can see here there's a stop button we can stop and then let's take a look at the menu options on top we have the playback sources mpd let's check out mpd here we have the audio output we can select it the various uh, options we have here is an raspberry pi hdmi out analog out since we have a dac connected i have selected dac we have the volume control whether it should be visible in the playback section or it should be disabled and it is controlled directly from the hardware so they also say that it is best to keep it disabled it, uh, it achieves the best sound quality then we have more options here plugins gapless mp3 playback these kind of things volume normalization buffer and let's go to settings in settings we can see uh, the host name time zone and kernel options are here we can even uh, change the signature 
the sound signature we have multiple options here i haven't tried those out yet because out of the box itself the sound quality was so good i was high, i was very impressed i immediately thought of making this video and sharing with everyone and we have various options to enable disable dlna we can play directly from dlna also usb auto mount should it be enabled disable the, those kind of things then if we go to menu network now once you install the uh, uh, rune ui on the sd card and put it in the raspberry pi and you attach a network cable it is immediately available on the network it is plug and play but if you plan on using wi-fi then you have to first uh, go into the network interfaces and configure the uh, wlan because you are probably having it would be password protected so those kind of configuration has to be done through this network in interface but if you are planning on using wired connection it is totally plug and play i'll just quickly show you the wlan it will start scanning for the network and it will show you a list of available networks and you can connect to them i have currently assigned static ip and then we have the credits and those kind of things the ui is very easy to use and they, they made a great software hats off to them then we have the turn off option we can power off the device or reboot so that was a quick quick walkthrough of the rune audio project thanks everyone for watching this is sujith